Hello. A CT, or current transformer, is used to measure the current flowing through a circuit. Similar to a voltage transformer, it uses wire and steel to transform a magnetic field into current that is then measured using a dedicated meter, or more typically, a piece of electronic equipment. CTs can be classified into two types, metering class or protection class. A metering CT is designed to provide an output current accurately within the measurement range whereas a protection CT must provide output at least 10 times the normal load current in order to measure and detect faults. The CT used in the NGK switch has attributes of both metering and protection. The output is linear at up to three times the rated switch current and more importantly its saturation characteristics are such that the output current remains usable at up to 30 times the measurement range. The saturation current is distorted but produces usable output. It is this feature that allows the NGK switch to detect the presence of currents far in excess of its metering range. A CT is a current device and as such will try to increase the voltage on its secondary in order to maintain a linear current relationship between primary and secondary. Therefore it is possible to have high voltages produced on the secondary of a CT if the terminals are left open circuit. With an infinite output impedance, you would therefore expect an infinite voltage, but of course this doesn't happen because the core will saturate well before this condition can occur. The output voltage under these conditions can be estimated if you know the characteristics of the core material being used. We will demonstrate the open circuit characteristics of the NGK CT using this test setup. It consists of a series of toroidal transformers for current and a high voltage transformer for insulation testing. We will be using the current amplifiers to generate an RMS current of 800 amps and show the output of the CT in both a terminated and unterminated condition. We have a 1000 million ohm measuring device across the CT secondary which we use to monitor the voltage produced across the windings and divide it by 1000 and then view it on this oscilloscope. The clamp meter shows the primary current. As you can see, the maximum voltage across the terminals is 1600 volts peak to peak, and you can see the voltage spikes as described earlier on the drawing. You can also see that the CT is not breaking down under continuous overload conditions. If we touch the wires with an insulated screwdriver, You can see the sparks generated, indicating that in fact the voltage is present. Importantly, there is no breakdown of the CT and its insulating material. As has been demonstrated, under overload conditions the switch CT will not break down if left open circuit due to the unlikely failure of its protection circuitry. However, because high voltages may be present, it is necessary to use high voltage procedures when removing the control cable from the switch or controller with the circuits active. Thank you.